Question 16. What is the difference between performing a section and a paragraph? Answer. Performing a section will cause all the paragraphs that are part of the section to be performed. Performing a paragraph will cause only that paragraph to be performed. Question 17. What is the use of evaluate statement? Answer. Evaluate is like a case statement and can be used to replace nested ifs. The difference between evaluate and case is that no break is required for evaluate i.e. control comes out of the evaluate as soon as one match is made. Question 18. What are the steps you go through while creating a COBOL program executable? Answer. DB2 precompiler if embedded SQL used, KIX translator if KIX PGM, COBOL compiler, link editor if DB2 program, create plan by binding the DBRMs. Question 19. How do you come out of an evaluate statement? Answer. After the execution of one of the when clauses, the control is automatically passed on to the next sentence after the evaluate statement. There is no need of any extra code. Question 20. In an evaluate statement, can I give a complex condition on a when clause? Answer. Yes. Question 21. What is a scope terminator? Give examples. Answer. Scope terminator is used to mark the end of a verb e.g. evaluate, end evaluate, if, end if. Question 22. How do you do inline perform? Answer. Perform and perform. Question 23. When would you use inline perform? Answer. When the body of the perform will not be used in other paragraphs. If the body of the perform is a generic type of code, used from various other places in the program, it would be better to put the code in a separate para and use perform paraname rather than inline perform. Question 24. What is the difference between continue and next sentence? Answer. Continue is like a null statement, do nothing. While next sentence A transfers control to the next sentence, a sentence is terminated by a period. Question 25. What does exit do? Answer. Does nothing. If used, must be the only sentence within a paragraph. Question 26. What is comp sync? Answer. Causes the item to be aligned on natural boundaries. Can be synchronized left or right. For binary data items, the address resolution is faster if they are located at word boundaries in the memory. For example, on mainframe the memory word size is 4 bytes. This means that each word will start from an address divisible by 4. Question 27. Can I redefine an x200 field with a field of x100? Answer. Yes. Question 28. What do you do to resolve SOC 7 error? Answer. Basically you need to correcting the offending data. Many times the reason for SOC 7 is an uninitialized numeric item. Examine that possibility first. Many installations provide you a dump for runtime events. It can be generated also by calling some subroutines or OS services through assembly language. These dumps provide the offset of the last instruction at which the abend occurred. Examine the compilation output XRE listing to get the verb and the line number of the source code at this offset. Then you can look at the source code to find the bug. To get capture the runtime dumps, you will have to define some datasets in the JCL. If none of these are helpful, use judgment and display to localize the source of error. Some installation might have batch program debugging tools. Use them. Question 29. How is sign stored in packed decimal fields and zoned decimal fields? Answer. Packed decimal fields. Sign is stored as a hex value in the last nibble, 4 bits, of the storage. Zoned decimal fields fields, as a default, sign is overpunched with the numeric value stored in the last byte. Question 30. How is sign stored in a COMP3 field? Answer. It is stored in the last nibble. For example, if your number is plus 100, it stores hex 0c in the last byte, hex 1c if your number is 101, hex 2c if your number is 102, hex 1d if the number is minus 101, hex 2d if the number is minus 102. 